Today we are going to learn about dependency injection. Dependency injection is a software design pattern. It allows us to develop loosely coupled code. The intent of a dependency injection is to make code maintainable. Dependency injections help us to reduce the tight coupling among the software component. So first we will understand that one, what is actually type coupling, tight coupling. Just open a new project. Just select the console application. So first we will understand that what actually is a tight coupling. Create one class like a student. And uh, one more class that is a data service. And create that method. Now here, uh, if I want to consume this uh, data service class, so what uh, in the tra traditional way that I am going to create data service object. and obj dot I first create the method then obj dot get name so here you can see that one that particular student uh, class is depend upon that data service class that is called a tight coupling because when you are going to change anything here, so you have to change here also. So that's a called is a tight coupling. So how we can solve this type of problem with a dependency injection? Dependency injection is the mainly for, is a three part. One is the client class. Second one is the service class. Third one is the injector class. The client class is a class which depends on the service class. And service class, the class is a class that provides service to the client class. And one is the injector class. The injector class injects the service class object into the client class. Let's write this one. Now we are going to write one is the client class. Second one is the service class. A third one is that injector class. Here, uh, if you look that the client class is a class which depends upon the service class. So first, uh, I am going to create that one service class. First, we'll create that interface. That is an I service. And here, that we are going to create two method get first name then void get last name now I'm going to create that service class that uh, this one is the second one just we are going to make a number two three first I'm going to create the service class so how will they create the service class just like public class student service I'm going to inherit that i service now going to implement just here i will write a student first name And same, I'm going to copy. 
student ask them then again i am going to create one more service class that is a teacher service that is i service going to implement this one so we we'll just copy this one we are going to change teacher and this one also teacher so I've created that one that uh, service class now now second we are going to create that client class so how we create that client class let's create that public one class uh, like uh, business logic service and that uh, uh, there are three types of dependency injections first is the constructor second one is the method method dependency injection and third one is the properties that is a setter dependency injection so here i am going to use that constructor dependency injection so constructor dependency injection you have to create the constructor and here i you have to here you are going to inject that particular service so first you have to initialize this one now you can call this one this dot service dot get first name and this dot service dot get last name now this one is called a client class this one is a client class this one is that service class this all the teacher also this one also is service class now one more thing is that injector class now you are going to create this one that a program class that is a called injector class so here just uh, create that object business logic then new business logic service so here you have to pass that one that going to inject that is called student service or you can use that teacher service which service you are going to pass so this one is called injecting you are injecting something and this and console dot read key now run the application now you can see here that is student first name and student last name if you will change here that service if you want to inject that uh, teacher service then it will call that teacher that is a teacher first name because here need to name change this one is last name run again now you can see here teacher first name and teacher's last name but here there is one problem is here because in that class your injector class means like that program class you are actually are defining that one you are going to call that teacher service you are going to inject that one teacher service in the next video we will learn that third party tool with the help of the third party tools that is called a, if, uh, if you know that one inject is that n unity that is that is a third party tools how we can solve this type of problems i hope it's a clear thanks for watching